everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching today's video I am so excited about I'm going to be filming my current skincare routine I definitely want to start off this video with a quick disclaimer um, that I am no professional when it comes to skincare. I am not an esthetician. I do not have a skincare license or any of the above. I am simply just someone who loves skincare and I have tested out a lot of different skincare products. So I feel like I have a good understanding of what works for my skin. And that's another disclaimer. This is all what works for me. And everybody's skin is different. Everybody's skin responds to different skincare products differently. So take that into consideration. Um, I wouldn't suggest just going out and buying every single product that I mention because you never know how it will work for your skin. But if we have similar skin types or similar skin problems, it might work for you. So give it a try. So I am just going to go through my entire skincare routine with you guys. I am just going to show you from beginning to end what I use what I found has worked for me what I found hasn't worked for me so let's just go ahead and get on into it so I typically wash my face once a day. I know there's such thing as overwashing. If you wash your face two or more times a day, it can really dry out your skin. So I try not to overwash my skin and I typically only wash my face at night. It is morning right now, but I figured for the sake of this video, I will go through my whole skincare routine just to show you guys. But typically I do only wash my face at night after I remove all my makeup. So my first tip is to definitely remove all your makeup before bed. Years and years ago, I was awful about that. I would always sleep with a full face of makeup on and that was so bad. It makes me cringe thinking about sleeping in my full face of makeup, mascara, foundation, all of it. And no wonder in high school I had such bad skin. I'd wake up with breakouts and my skin was just always irritated because I wouldn't even clean it. And if I did clean it, all I would use was a makeup wipe, which makes me cringe so much. Don't do that. Please cleanse your skin after using a makeup wipe. That is a huge lesson I have learned throughout the years. I also want to say my sister-in-law is a licensed esthetician and I have learned a lot from her throughout the years. I go to her frequently for skincare advice, skincare products, and she does facials for me every now and then as well. So shout out to Paige if you're watching this because I get most things that I have learned from her. And um, I do wanna say I do have some more medical grade skincare products that I will be using in this video. However, I'm going to show some other options as well if you guys would like to purchase them just because I know medical grade skincare products can get a little bit more expensive. However, I really do believe with skincare, you get what you pay for. The more you spend, the better quality product you are going to get. And I think when it comes to your skin, it's really important to spend that extra money if you can, just because it will really pay off in the end. I also wanna say I have always had um, mild breakouts on my skin. I've never had acne prone skin. My problems with my skin are more centered around redness and texture and an uneven skin tone, and I get the occasional breakout especially around that time of the month so let's just go ahead and get on into what I use so I have all my products right here that I'm looking at I'll start off with what I use to take off my makeup at the end of the day typically what I have been using for years I use a makeup wipe I love the Neutrogena makeup wipes those are my favorite especially the ones with the exfoliating side on it I feel like that really just gets in there and gets off all your makeup my favorite thing to pair the wipes with is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser to remove eye makeup. Now these are neither medical grade products and so I cannot guarantee that either one of these have non-toxic chemicals in them and that is one thing I also would love to move towards is using more toxic free products and just the safe beauty products that um, I have been hearing all about. But 
I do believe majority of my products are pretty toxic free and they all have really good ingredients in them so definitely check the ingredients before you purchase a product but if I'm being 100% honest these are the products that I have used for years and when it comes to taking your makeup off they really do the job so the Pond's cold cream cleanser I put it on my eyes it does not burn your eyes it's super gentle and refreshing gets off your mascara and the reason I use that is so that I don't have to tug at my eyes with the makeup wipe you never want to tug at your eyes especially your under eyes because it's very sensitive and it will wrinkle very quickly as you age if you are tugging at it so those are the two products that I have been using however Paige actually recommended this product which is the deep cleansing oil by DHC so I have just started using this product and this is amazing at removing your makeup at the end of the day all you have to do is just do two pumps in your hand, lather it up, lather it all around your face, and I promise you within a minute, it will get off every single speck of makeup on your face, including eye makeup. It's amazing. However, after using that product, you still want to cleanse with a facial cleanser. So a facial cleanser that I typically use is the PCA Facial Skin Wash. This is another product that was recommended to me by my sister-in-law. This is another medical grade skincare product. It is a little bit more pricey, but I promise you this is so good for your skin. It really gives you that clean, refreshing feeling after using it. However, I know not everybody can afford to buy medical skin grade products. So if you are looking for another product that is um, gentle on your skin, but still gives that refreshing feeling after taking off all your makeup, this is the one I personally use in the shower and whenever I run out of the PCA products. So this is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel by Neutrogena. I personally love Neutrogena products. I always have. And this one, it smells so good. It feels so refreshing on your skin. It says it's a lightweight gel and it lathers really well. I love uh, facial skincare that lathers. It really makes me feel like I'm really cleaning my skin. So I love this product as well. Along the topic of removing makeup, another product that I have used for years and years that I really love is the Micellar Water. This is by the Simple Brand. Although I am pretty sure that you can buy it from a lot of different brands. This is just a water solution that helps you remove any excess makeup. So sometimes I like to do this after my makeup wipe. I go back over with this with a cotton pad and that cotton pad will really show you that a makeup wipe doesn't get off everything. So I'll go back over it with this and then use my cleanser. Okay, next up, after I remove my makeup and wash my face, I always, always use a toner. Now I have three different toners that I use and I kind of like to switch it up. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling in the moment. I do have a medical grade skincare product and it is the PCA skin hydrating toner and this one is a little bit pricey as you've seen I've gone through a lot of it so I do really like this toner if I'm totally honest with you guys I never even really knew what the purpose of toner was I was just always told to use it and I always knew that it helps me get rid of any excess makeup because usually I apply it with a, another cotton round and that gets off any extra dirt or makeup that is in your pores and it's just really refreshing but I did do some research um, just why toner is important and it says that toner is important for minimizing the appearance of pores it helps protect the skin from elements it temporarily tightens your skin it's refreshing it soothes your skin removes it of oil and makeup and aids skin in retaining moisture so those are some good reasons to use a toner so the PCA skin one is probably my favorite I use that one the most other than that I have really been loving the brand good molecules they have amazing skin products with clean ingredients and that's what I love most about them. This is a brightening toner with niacinamide? <laughs> niacinamide? I have no idea how to say that word. But this is what it looks like. If you know how to pronounce that word, please let me know. This stuff I actually really like because it's a little bit thicker than the PCA toner and it goes on. It has a little bit more cooling and refreshing feeling. It says it's formulated with niacinamide. I'm probably butchering that word, that's so embarrassing. Vitamin C, arbutin, and root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. So, I really like this stuff. It feels so good on my skin. It's a little bit more affordable option than the PCA products, 
but if you're looking for an even more affordable product that works just as well you could always go for witch hazel which i had been using since high school i have a few of these still stored in my bathroom that i actually forgot about that i got out for this video i have not used it in years but this is what i used all of high school when i was first informed that i should be using toner on my skin this was one of the most highly recommended products super inexpensive you can get it on amazon i'm pretty sure in like a three pack for under 15 dollars so this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel. It looks like this. It says it's an aloe vera formula, alcohol free, and this is in the rose petal scent. So I remember actually loving this. I might go back to using it because this really feels like soothing on your skin after you put it on. And I looked up some other toners that you guys can use um, as different options. Rose water oil, tea tree oil, aloe vera, green tea, and witch hazel were some of those that were mentioned and um, just to stay clear of alcohol, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, different fragrances, and parabens. So those are some things to keep in mind to look out for in your skincare products. Okay, after toner, I move on to serums. So there are three different serums that I go back and forth between. The first one is another PCA medical grade skincare product. Definitely check out this PCA skin brand if you are interested in maybe splurging a little bit more on your skincare this year I highly highly recommend it I will also leave Paige's Instagram tagged right here definitely go follow her she's always posting different skin tricks tips advice and you can DM her and she will definitely message you back and answer any questions you have about skincare or different skincare products um, so yeah I will leave her linked right here and down below so this is the vitamin C C quench antioxidant serum from PCA skin this stuff is super good vitamin C I've read is super good for your skin. It is full of antioxidants and it promotes collagen production so it'll kind of like firm up your skin a little bit which is really good for anti-aging. So this is something newer within the past year that I've added to my skincare regimen but I really love this stuff. Next serum that I use on my skin is the Hyaluronic Acid Skin Serum. This is also from Good Molecules and Hyaluronic Skin Serum is really good for adding extra moisture into your skin as well as reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles this says it is formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration so this is also a newer product that I have recently added into my skincare routine because I have read that this is really good to add into your skincare routine especially as you are getting older and your skin is aging this does say that you can add a few drops in the morning and at night I only use it at night and I always let it sit for about 30 seconds most of these products I let it sit on my skin the serums at least for 30 seconds at least to just soak in before applying another product on top. The last serum that I apply on my skin is this discoloration serum from Good Molecules. This has been a game changer in my skincare regimen because I've actually noticed a huge difference with this product. The biggest problem I struggle with my skin is by far an uneven skin tone and just redness on my skin tone. I've had it my whole life. It's nothing new. I just have a pinker, redder skin tone and it almost looks like I have like allergies just 365 days a year because I get really red right here right here and around my eyes and I have noticed I've been using this for a couple months now and I apply it every single night and even just looking at myself right now in the mirror I've noticed my skin is so much less red than normal so I'm giving the credit to this product because I've never used any other type of like redness correcting serum before I don't know why I just honestly have never picked one up before until this one it's it says it is formulated with Setanol Trinexamate Mesylate, if I'm saying that right, to target hyperpigmentation and promote an even skin tone. So if you struggle with a red skin tone as well, definitely get your hands on this product. The next thing I do in my skincare regimen is moisturizer. So moisturizing is my favorite part of my skincare routine because I tend to have either dry or overly oily skin, which um, I have realized is both due to dehydration of my skin. So I try to find moisturizers that really work for my skin and I'll share a couple of those with you right now. So the first thing I do before moisturizing is I put this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream all over my under eyes. This is the first eye cream that I have ever used. I never thought I needed one, but the older I get, 
the more dark circles I'm getting, the more fine lines and wrinkles I'm getting under and around my eyes. So this was one of the most highly recommended products after I did some research online. Definitely do your research on what would work best for your skin type and what products have the best reviews. And this product definitely had the best reviews. It says it is formulated with vitamin C and it is collagen boosted. And so I just lather this on under my eyes before moisturizer every day and I really love it. Now I have three different moisturizers that I go between. It depends on my mood, the time of day that I'm putting on moisturizer because I do actually put on moisturizer in the morning. I forgot to mention that. I don't wash my face in the mornings. However, I do like to splash cold water on my face in the mornings. And after I splash the cold water on my face, my face is typically a little bit drier. So I always put moisturizer on before I go on with my day. And for that, I like to use a more lightweight moisturizer. So the lightweight moisturizer that I use is this Milk and Manuka Coconut Milk and Manuka Honey Deep Moisture Cream by Lily Sato. I found this again by doing some research online and I found this was a really highly recommended product because it has a lot of natural ingredients in it. The top ingredients are um, water, coconut oil, cocoa seed, um, butter, cocoa, coconut butter. So um, yeah, just really natural products and I like it because it's super light on your skin. It doesn't feel like you have a super heavy, thick cream on your face throughout the day. Another really light moisturizer that I have fallen in love with is the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer to put on before makeup because I feel like it does have that kind of priming effect. It says it's formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-driven silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. So this is what it looks like. I really like this. I use it every single morning that I wear makeup. I don't wear makeup every day, but on the mornings I do, this is my go-to. And lastly, for the moisturizer that I want to feel is super hydrating and kind of like thick and creamy on my skin that I put on at nighttime only is this Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. So this is another product that I noticed was highly recommended whenever I did some research it says it's a polypeptide cream that strengthens and moisturizes. It has nine signal polypeptides in it, and this is pretty pricey. I don't know if I'll be purchasing again. I do really like it. However, it is very pricey, and I think um, you could probably buy a medical grade skincare product for that price, but I did want to try it out because it had so many great reviews, and honestly, I do love it. It is really silky and buttery on your skin. That's what I love about it. And it leaves your skin feeling so, so hydrated after you put it on. So this is my go-to at night. So that is all that I do every night before bed. However, if we're talking about a more self-care day where I want to do a little bit extra, I will put on a face mask. So I thought I would show you a few of my favorite face masks. So again, I have different face masks for different occasions or different needs for my skin. This first face mask is by the skincare brand Frey. This is their Detox Me Post Sweat Clearing Mask. I like this stuff the most because it is super cooling on your skin. If you can see, it also has a lot of different exfoliating beads in there and it's just so cooling on your skin. So this is just really nice if you're wanting that like cooling effect on your skin, that's whenever I bring this one out. This next face mask is by Natura Kalina and this is an OG of mine. I've had it for years and years and it's lasted me a really long time. This is their Roseberry Antioxidant Face Mask and this is a little bit different than the first one I just showed you. This this one is more like warm and comforting on your face. It's like a warm hug on your face and it looks like this. Kind of hard to see it in there but it's this dark red creamy clay texture and I love this stuff for when I just want something really soothing on my skin. My last but not least, this is actually probably my favorite skincare mask that I have. This is the Coco Kind by Shut the Kale Up Sea Kale Clay Mask. This stuff is amazing. I originally bought this just because I'm such a huge fan of Shut the Kale Up on Instagram and I wanted to support her and her product launch with Coco Kind, but this has quickly become my favorite skincare mask. It is super restorative. It feels like it gives you a fresh 
new layer of skin on your face so it is exfoliating um, but it doesn't feel too harsh on your face it doesn't feel like you're like scratching your face it's really gentle but I don't know how to describe it it's just so nice on your skin it smells really good it smells really refreshing so if you're looking for a new mask that you can actually notice a difference after you use it i highly highly recommend this mask i feel like this is the one face mask that i actually notice a difference in my skin after using it as long as we're here i wanted to mention a couple other facial skincare products that i love and have been using for years and years these are the mario badescu skincare facial sprays this one is with aloe herbs and rose water and then i also have another one this is the facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea so this is the green formula and i have bought and repurchased both of these mists over and over again i really love them you can get them on mario badescu's website or you can get them off amazon or ulta i'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere but i love these they're so refreshing just anytime during the day I'll spray my face and it's just super refreshing. I don't even know what it is about it. You just need to try it for yourself. It says it's just a hydrating boost for a midday pick-me-up. You can also use it as like a makeup setting spray, which I do sometimes use it for as well. So those are just some extra little skincare tips for you. Last but not least, as long as we're on the topic of skin, I know some of us struggle with acne prone skin and sometimes it feels like there's just nothing that can help. And something I have actually struggled with as I get older and I find it's definitely a hormonal thing I will get acne along my chest or my shoulders or on my back and I went to page for this because I was like help I hate having acne anywhere let alone on my chest and back so she recommended this product to me it's the Epionce purifying toner it looks like this and as you see I have used a lot of it but I have only had this for a year probably it's lasted me a long time guys Every time when I get out the shower, I spray this all over my back and shoulders, sometimes on my chest. And this toner, it literally, it's like magic. It makes all of my blemishes and acne on my back and chest go away within a day. So I don't know what it is in this product that is so magical, but I just wanted to point that out there because if you are watching this video and you are having similar struggles, try out this product. Yes, it's a little bit pricey because it's medical grade, but I promise you, you will not regret it. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video provided you with some good information and some helpful tips. Like I said, I am no skincare expert. I am not an esthetician. I did not go to school for this, but I still Still think I've learned a lot about skincare over the years and I get questions often about my skin and how it's so perfect which it's not because keep in mind I post a lot of pictures and makeup which hides a lot of the blemishes and the redness in my skin but I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did and you would like to stick around don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye